probably be easy when you just die. Woo! Woo! I'm chewing you. Welcome to day number six of Venom Month. And that is, oops, I gotta switch the arms here. And that is the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Fearsome Foes box set, Carnage. So this is uh, probably, this is my favorite Carnage. The only thing that is not my favorite is the head sculpt. And his legs are really crooked, so he doesn't he doesn't stand up too good anymore. He's been played with a lot. This figure is from uh, 2000, 2006. I got this guy in like 2008 maybe. And ever since then, this has been like my, my definitive Carnage. I did also have the Spider-Man Classic single card version, which is from this way. Which actually... You know, looking at this now, I do own all these figures. This one has been customized into Prowler, though. And I have the rest of these here. Um, and then you can see this is the Spider-Man Classics Carnage, which uh, is, it's the same body, just a much darker black paint apps instead of looking more like, you know, red kind of Carnage. And then the head sculpt. The head sculpt looks a lot cooler than this one. Most of the head is the same. The only difference is, uh, uh, unlike this Carnage, that one has, like, the full gorilla of teeth. Kind of more like Venom kind of teeth, uh... Closer to, like, the Sinister Six box at Venom Teeth compared to, like, this weird, like, symbiote slime kind of mouth. I don't know. It's hard to explain. It looks really cool. I still like the head sculpt on it. I prefer the paint apps on this. I just prefer that head sculpt. You know, if I had the resources and the mostly the money, but basically pretty much only the money, if I had it, I would buy another one of those Carnages um, and then keep one normal and then, you know... In the perfect world, I would buy two of these Carnages, one of them just to keep his regular plain Carnage, no customizing, and then I would use the second one and repaint it his color so I could have this Carnage colors, or these Carnage colors, kind of more classic, just uh, with that head sculpt. Um, I'm not going to be reviewing this figure, spoilers. This leg always kind of bugged me here. Like, it looks, like, I don't know, the angle looks kind of weird. It looks like it could be like this. I don't know. Oh, that's kind of more like a my problem that it looks kind of weird. To me, it looks weird. Um, but we're not going to be taking a look at this carnage. I'm not going to be reviewing him. Instead, we're going to be taking a look at some accessories I made for him. So I'm one of those people that generally when it comes to accessories, like, uh, for example, interchangeable hands. These are from Peter B. Parker that I've repainted. Interchangeable hands are not really a big deal to me. It's kind of like, okay, that's cool, but you're not doing anything to enhance the figure itself. To me, the only case where interchangeable hands... Or no, interchangeable hands to me are whatever, but like having accessories like weapons and stuff only really matters like for, for example, for like a goblin. You gotta have a really good glider form, really good bag, maybe a pumpkin bomb and some sort of a display for the the uh, the goblin, for the, what's it called? For the goblin, in order for the goblin to look really good, you need a good glider, you know. Those are accessories that if you don't have a glider for Green Goblin, don't even bother making Green Goblin, you know. Or like Craven the Hunter with a, uh, oops. There goes uh, Spider-Man Unlimited. Like, Craven the Hunter. He's got, like, a... These are all customs. He's got some some knives. he got a staff. He, or a, or a, a spear. He did have a crossbow, which, unfortunately, it got destroyed. So, I'm going to end up remaking another one. This one just now looks like a, like, a, like a pickaxe. But, yeah. So, Carnage is one of the characters where I feel like having some sort of accessories would be cool. Toy Biz didn't really do much in the way of accessories for Carnage. They gave him, like... You see there, he has, like, a weird symbiote trap thing to capture Spider-Man. But there aren't really any, uh, any, uh, like, accessories for Carnage. One thing I think is really cool about Carnage and Sandman, uh, is, like, interchangeable hands. Like, he can change his hands into, like, an axe or, like, a spiked ball. A spiked ball, that sounded really weird the way he said that. Like, you can see Sandman over there has interchangeable hands. Unfortunately, mine that I have, I lost all the accessories, but I did make him some accessories out of clay. And I figured, I'm gonna do the same thing for Carnage. Um, and Sandman's hands are different than Carnage's. So, most figures, especially like Hasbro, like uh, like if we take, for example, Hydro Man here, you can see Hydro Man, his wrist, his arm has a hole in it, and then his, uh, his wrist has a peg that goes in it, or like a pin that goes inside. That's how most figures do it, like nowadays. Toy Biz did that too a little bit, um, but then you have some characters, like you know, you have Venom here that has a hole in his hand and a pin in his wrist. By the way, don't just pull it off. If you do this, boil it. Uh, mine has been played with a lot, so now the hands are loose. Like, for example, Carnage, his hands are switched. So you can see, they are not the, They don't use the same style where Carnage's hand has the pin coming out of the wrist, Venom has a hole in his wrist. You, I tried plugging these together before just for fun, and it works. Look at that. You can have them, like, holding... I mean, if you put the, right, the correct hands, it probably would work better. But yeah, so that makes this inconsistent. Like, these hands wouldn't work for Venom, but they would work for carnage it's kind of dumb 
So in order to make this custom, I had to kind of think outside the box. And so what I did was, after boiling the hands, like I said, boil body parts, don't just pull them off like this. I actually, um, after boiling them and taking them off, I um, put the stick down for now. After boiling them and taking them off, I took uh, some of my, some, I took scissors and then I cut off some of the pin up, pin on there. So when you put it on, it's a lot, it's a lot less tight when you actually stick it on the joint like that. This one, unfortunately, I cut off too much, so now his hand is kind of loose a little bit. The other hand still fits on very tightly. You can see there, it has a bit of a gap, but that's, that's, yeah, that's okay. These hands are not designed to be, to come off, so that's a little okay. And so I have this thing here. This is from a skewer. Like you could buy these at Walmart or like the dollar store maybe. They're used for s'mores where it's basically just a, a, a stick used for s'mores. Um, and then you just uh, you just take it, you sand it down or you file it and then you can stick it into the hand. This part is too thin so it doesn't go in. But this part is too thick so it goes in really tight. You want to basically sand it down or like use a knife and like shave it off. I'd say sandpaper is probably better. And then you can stick it in the arm here and then what you do with that after you put it in the arm you want to use some kind of clay uh use use clay and then you want to sculpt weapons onto the under the under this piece of the the stick here it's basically a stick and then i was able to get some hands let me put them on here um so depending on how good you do it you can make a bunch you can make like a bunch of different weapons the two that i have made is uh is um these two so i made like a sort of bludgeoning weapon and then an axe which the axe i think came out looking a bit better both look pretty good i just like the way the axe looks more just because it uh it's it's more a signature carnage weapon you know sort of like uh sandman signature weapons is like huge fists or like a spiked ball carnages is like an axe so i feel like it looks really cool in that regard I, I really do i really do like these hands i think they came out looking pretty cool um these also work for hasbro the only difference is uh like hasbro figures Hasbro figures are this size, so you basically want to use, you want to get, like, almost like a, a toothpick would probably work. Focus here, dude. Yeah, you can see it's a lot bigger. You'd probably want to use, like, a toothpick for Hasbro figures, and then, you know, do it. Just put it on and switch it. Same thing works for, I don't know if it works for the, like, uh, Sandman, Hasbro Sandman, because uh, the pegs are, his arms are really big, so his pegs are probably a different size. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much all for this video, just showing, like, a brief tutorial of how to uh, how to attach hands to or how to make custom hands for for carnage and also uh, here I have this clay this is not a brand flower clay then I recommend it for sculpting flower petals when dried can bend 360 degrees without twisting or breaking I use this clay because this clay is a little bit rubbery it's not super bendable but you can see it is flexible and stuff you can see there compared to other clay that's really hard like this thing here like, this is really hard, and if you bend it, you're going to break it. So I, I would say this clay is good for, like, weapons and stuff like this because, like, if you drop the figure, it's not going to break. But some clay is not it, I mean, the clay isn't really... It's not durable. It's just very... It's It it, it doesn't break. It would rip, you know? So that's really cool. Uh, the, unfortunately, this hand didn't work the best. Uh, this whole... This pin right here needs to be a bit bigger, a bit thicker. But this hand works really cool, so he does have the axe hand. Fortunately, this one has been played with a lot. Like, the figure body's been played with a lot, so he has a hard time standing. You can kind of get him... Kind of get him in a pose. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much... That's all for all for this video. I just wanted to show off these custom Carnage hands I made. Which I, I think... Uh, admittedly, I think they look pretty cool. I think the axe one looks good. If you do make it, I would suggest trying to make an axe. As far as actually sculpting it, that's not too tricky. Basically, just flatten out a piece of clay. Basically, yeah, basically just flatten out a piece of clay... Um, you kind of uh, uh, smooth the, the sides and then make sure this part is big enough to plug into uh, like the, the skewer hold. And then you just, you know, boom, pop it on and there you go. But yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. Let me know think about this video and I will see you guys for the next day of Venom Month. Wow.